Move on to race number four. The fourth on the programme is the first leg of the triple trio. Class five here over the 1,200 metres, headed by Real Deal, who drops into class five for the first time. The blinkers go back on. Winning Viber, last start's uh, course winner. Drops, uh, sorry, goes, uh, drops back to the, uh, the 1,200 metres, though. Happy Sand, run up on the all-weather last start. Enchanted Feeling will roll from barrier three. Winner St Paul's has his first start for Frankie Law. And Starry Star is still zero from 23, but he has been placed on two of his last three starts. Well, that pace potentially is going to be good here because you've got a horse like Happy Sound in the race and Kim Glory, noted front runners, Enchanted Feeling can posse in. Gameful Jet's going to have to work his backside off to try and cross. He's got barrier 14, another wide draw for him. So that's going to make it tough, but that should ensure a fairly solid pace if he pushes the issue. And it'll give a couple just sitting in behind every opportunity, I would have thought. The downgrader in this race is this horse here, Real Deal, and his track work's been really good leading into this, and he's trialled nicely. Uh, blinkers go back on him for race start. This is his first gallop on the 25th of September, uh, doing it nicely as he comes down. And his second uh, piece of track work here on the 5th of October was another good piece, and ran uh, not a bad time just for the 400 as well. So that's just uh, ticked him off nicely for this particular race. The other one we're having a look at here is Enchanted Feeling. Neil Cullen's aboard for this particular run down the back straight here. Again, he's going nicely enough here, and it was a, a good run from him last time, so he's in a bit of form, this horse. This was back on the uh, 2nd of October uh, for Enchanted Feeling, and uh, his last gallop, just a quiet one, but uh, was just the other day on the 6th of October, and he's another one that uh, is going nicely enough as well here in the mornings. I think John made a good case for him too, um, last mm. start, he ran well at a price. All right, want to consider then. We'll start off with uh, winning form here, and that is uh, winning vibe. Um, interesting thing about this, this is over the 1,400 metres, and he's only just got there. They drop him back to the 1,200. He's a horse that has always promised a little bit, even from day one. It's taken, obviously, 17 starts for that win to come through, and it's been in Class 5. But he's won here like he could probably win again, but the drop back in trip and the wide barrier and the extra weight... If, he, if he's ridden like this back in the field, it'll, it'll make it tough for him. Yeah, he, you know, he's obviously got his win here in Class 5. He hasn't been with Chris So for that long, mm. but uh, he did hit the line uh, nicely and just got up right on the post. But what, can he put two together yeah. back to 1,200? I'm not so sure. I, I think he can win again in five, but yeah. maybe um, over 14 again. All right, might find this a little bit on the sharp side. So a handful to uh, get our teeth into here. Gameful Jet out in front. Um, Enchanted Feeling, that comes home in second. Yeah, it was a good run from Enchanted Feeling here, and uh, he hit the line nicely enough. It was a bit of a bunch finish, but of, of these ones, he's probably the one I like. Starry Starley's has had his opportunities, but he runs OK. Uh, Happy Century's come up really short in the market. He's actually the early favourite. Uh, he finishes just in behind as well, but uh, again, another one uh, that yet to win a race here in Class 5. Yeah, I, I don't mind Happy Century. I think there is a win in him, but I would prefer him at 1,400. His best run's been at 1,400. He's got Joe on and a wide barrier here at 12, so uh, I'm happy to look elsewhere. All right, so that's uh, Happy Century, the favourite. What about Happy Sound? Um, claim on board here. This is 1,000 metres, stepping up to the 12 at wide gate, but might have the speed to cross them. Yeah, I think eventually he will find the front, but we know, um, you know he's a bit of a speedy type and lacks a little bit of... Uh, sustenance at the end, Paul? Yeah, I've, I've put him in for fourth, uh, a happy sound, because I think he'll lead for a long period of the race, but as you said, Brett, I think he'll get overrun late. Yeah, and he'll probably have to work a little bit early, maybe with Kim Glory and one or two others, um, Gainful Jet sort of serving it up, but um, he'll give you a sight. All right, second of the Class 5s, though, uh, Paul, who are we with? Well, usual suspects again, so I'm going to go with the new kid on the block, uh, a horse called Real Deal. He's really improved on, on, over the off-season. Blinkers go on, trialled well, and uh, he's from Barrier 2 with Zach Purden aboard. It's got uh, a winning formula there. So I've got him on top to beat uh, Enchanted Felix. Winning Lee's a horse that's improved in the off-season as well. Wouldn't be surprised if he ran a race at a bit of a price. And uh, we mentioned Happy Sound and explained his situation. So I'm going to go uh, QQP's here, one seven eleven. I'm going to best bet him, Paul. I think he's uh, very hard to beat, real deal. He looks a different horse altogether than what he did last season. Uh, recent trial was terrific. I think he sits in behind and runs over the top of a very ordinary group of horses. Enchanted feeling. Winner St Paul's has had a change of stable. He's gone from Dennis Yip to Frankie Law. Uh, he's a horse that... Um, he's not a favourite of yours. ...hasn't won uh, out of turn, that's for sure. But he can run, and uh, I think he might run a bit of a race. Look at him, he's place favourite early. Look out. Happy sound I've got in fourth. Uh, one, seven, twelve, five. Good name. Yeah, it is. I like, uh, <laughs> I like real deal. Number one.